You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hello and welcome to episode 208 of the Soul Forge Podcast. Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey everybody, back at you with another walk and talk episode. It's not what I intended, it's not what I wanted, but with the way time works, that's what's happening. So this is the apology episode. And I'm going to give you a bit of a background history on this. Uh, Basically what I was going to do, as I'm recording this right now for historical purposes and fine detail, it's Wednesday, the 23rd of June, and this comes out tomorrow. I was going to record this Tuesday night, but stuff happened and I couldn't. So we're getting this one instead. So what I was going to do Tuesday night was sit down. I was actually was sitting down in front of the computer. I started looking up articles about the importance of apologizing, saying you're sorry even if you didn't do anything wrong and all that kind of stuff. But I couldn't. And I'll get into that in a moment. So what brought on the apology episode anyway? You're probably asking yourself... And I'll tell you, last week, I was kind of bitchy and whiny, and uh, not only did my buddy Renee point it out to me, but also Richard from Australia mentioned it too in a comment on the Facebook page for last week's episode. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Oh yeah, it was the, it was the grab bag episode where we are talking about uh, just a bunch of random things. So anyway, uh, I was feeling sorry for myself and kind of alone in this whole store getting off the ground business that I'm trying to do. And Renee rightly pointed out that there are a lot of people out there supporting me and I have to not think about it as if they're not. Uh, Just because people are quiet doesn't mean they're not silently supporting me. And Richard said similar things. And they're both right. And so, anybody who listened to last week's episode, I apologize for my tone. Because, you know me, I'm happy-go-lucky, friendly, and I love you all. But, I was feeling overwhelmed. Because, there's a lot of money involved. And I've got this Kickstarter. And I put a $10,000 fundraising goal over 30 days on it. And of course, I'm only at $904, and there's sweat as I'm recording this. I don't think there's much more than 10 days left to go. So obviously, I'm not going to get any of that money. And I'm kind of used to doing things on my own, and that's what my point was last week. But I'm not alone, and I know that. And so I just wanted to say sorry to all you folks out there in podcast land, because really... I know you've all supported me over the time and everything's awesome and I'm just scared and feeling overwhelmed so really uh, there's no excuse for that so all apologies and actually what I wanted to do was put in a bunch of song clips about uh, things like apology songs Um, let me think how I can describe this there's a song called Sorry by Buck Cherry I'm sorry I'm Bill, I'm sorry about all the things I said to you. And I was going to put in some clips from that. Uh, I think Nirvana has a song called All Apologies. And even Justin Bieber, who I can't stand, has a song about being sorry. And I'm sure there's more. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. And I was going to 
put a bunch of random clips in, but nothing more than a few seconds because I don't want to get flagged by the uh, algorithms and whatever. Also, sorry for uh, another walk and talk episode so soon. Uh, I like to do these sporadically and randomly, but pretty rarely because the sound quality isn't always the best because, and especially today, it's friggin' windy. Of course it is because it's just, just always the way. So anyway, what I was going to do, I was going to record it, this episode, I was starting on Sunday, I think, but uh, then we decided to go for a nice family drive and we ended up at the Pine Street Cemetery here in Timmins and I found my great grandfather's uh, grave marker. He died in 1937 and uh, I'd been looking for it for a while and I I could never find it and I I looked it up on their website and of course they spelled his name wrong. It was Fortunato Roncato, but they named him Rongato with a G, so it was hard to find the plot because the name was spelled wrong. So anyway, I finally found it. Uh, it took a, quite a while. So Sunday was shot, and couldn't do an episode. And then I was going to record it Monday after work, but it rained on Monday. It rained like crazy. I wore. It was supposed to be like 14 degrees Celsius, so that's the perfect temperature for delivering. Uh, but it was pissing down rain and uh, so I couldn't record in the rain and I was frozen and it went down to like seven degrees it was supposed to be a warm rainy day but it wasn't so I came home soaked to the bone had a nice hot bath and then sat on the couch for the rest of the evening did nothing Uh, so like I said Tuesday I was going to go ahead I was sitting in front of the computer started to look up All kinds of reasons and tips and tricks on apologizing and all that stuff. And then Julie says, oh, Clem's here, that's her stepdad. And he's going to help you install that screen door. Because about two months ago, maybe, the screen door got caught in the windstorm and the hinges ripped off. And so that was useless. So we could have just bought new hinges, but we decided to get a new door because Julie wanted a new door for a while. This is all glass screen door with the hidden screen and all that stuff so we were going to put it in on the weekend but we didn't uh, because Clem was out at camp I was going to do it by myself but Julie said oh no wait for some help so Tuesday I'm sitting in front of the computer and she's like oh Clem's here so I couldn't record an episode and here's all that freaking wind sorry guys but anyway so we uh, take the door out of the cardboard box and uh, oh my goodness the instructions are horrendous so he suggested well why don't we look it up on YouTube see a guy who has already installed it so we did and that was super helpful uh, it still took us more than four hours to get uh, 75% of the door installed I just have to put on the rain cap and the little uh, hydraulic arm thingy and a few little pieces, and then we're all done. So I'll do that later today or tomorrow. But uh, I was exhausted after that. That was, we weren't done till like 9.30 or something stupid like that. So anyway, uh, that's what happened there. And then, uh, now, it's, now it's Wednesday, and I would normally record this episode at home in front of the computer so I can give you all the information on tips and tricks for apologizing but wouldn't you know it it's Wednesday and that my friends is soul not soul forge this is soul forge uh, cosmic pizza podcast recording day so uh, once I get home from work I have to change and then I go to my chiropractor appointment to fix my ankle uh, and then I record with the boys and then I'm going to edit this so there was no time to do a proper sit down episode so you're getting a walk and talk and do you like walk and talk episodes? Um, it's it's very flow of consciousness, so I can't always think of what I'm trying to think about. I don't even know if that makes sense. But uh, oh, there's a person, so I'm gonna stop talking. Hang on, I'll play a promo. So Brittany, Martha, <laughs> tell me about your podcast. Oh no. <laughs>
It's like we're in sync, but also kind of a disaster. We are always a disaster. So our podcast is fun if you want to hear two people talk about and complain about stuff that <laughs> they love and also hate. And drink. And drink. And the show is called. Oh. <laughs> But, but first, first let's, let's talk, talk nerdy. nerdy. And you can find us on the ESO Network. Bye-bye. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome to Dr. Geek's Laboratory. Hello, everyone. Dr. Geek here with a shout out to all the scientists who worked tirelessly to bring a COVID-19 vaccine into reality. And <laughs> let's face it, creating something of this magnitude is a miracle worthy of Dr. McCoy himself. And now, Dr. Geek needs you to do your part. Remember, each shot is one small step back to normal, one giant leap to putting the pandemic behind us. We can do this. For more information, visit vaccines.gov to find your nearest provider. Okay, person's gone from the mailbox where I am at the apartment. I don't wanna, I don't wanna record an episode while there's somebody there, because that'll look stupid. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I don't friggin' know. I don't know anything anymore. Uh, so what I'm thinking I've just done is played the promo for a podcast and also uh, the vaccine promo thing too that we're supposed to play till the end of July. So that's done. And now what am I going to talk about? Uh, do you want to hear more about the store progress? Do you, do you care about that? Do you like it? Do you hate me talking about it? I, I don't know what you guys and girls out there in podcast land even like because uh, I don't get a lot of feedback, but I do get some. And speaking of feedback, I got to apologize to Bill. Um, Bill L, he uh, has been randomly giving me feedback from time to time, and that's definitely appreciated. Uh, that was about a week and a half ago that he sent me a thing about cosmic pizza and how he really liked the episode with uh, casey the conspiracy theorist podcaster and i've been meaning to get back to bill about that and i keep forgetting to send him an email to respond so i haven't um and what does that mean for me it means i'm a slacker and uh, i feel shame uh, but bill the boys appreciated it and Casey says as soon as uh, she's all recovered from her mat leave and stuff uh, maternity leave then she's definitely going to be returning to the cosmic pizza podcast so no worries there Uh, she really enjoys being on the show and she appreciates your kind words and how much you enjoy her content so there's that so that's awesome and now I don't have to uh, send you that email because You'll listen to this episode eventually, and uh, it'll be great. So, there you go. Uh, What else? Um, I'm sure there's other stuff that I wanted to talk about. And, of course, now that I'm out in the field delivering mail and putting flyers in this apartment building mailbox, I can't think of any of that stuff. Uh, What's been going on, though? Um, You know all about the patio screen door thingy? Um, I get the keys for the building for the business on the 30th of July so that's coming along Um, I'm excited and I'm scared that's what I wanted to talk about Uh, and that's what brought on last week's bitchy moany whiny kind of show because uh, I can always use more support and help or just words of encouragement wisdom and advice that's very important Um, so anyway I've been scouring the internet for all kinds of deals for stock for the store, even though it probably won't open for at least a year. Uh, Corey, my good buddy, he did redesign the logo for Rusted Robot, so maybe go check that out. If you haven't liked the Rusted Robot Facebook page, you should, because it's got all kinds of great... Uh, information i've started posting things for sale on there um cory has uh, been designing a website for me so there's that as well uh it's gonna be great you guys i'm so excited like i'm so excited i could just spit that's that's what it's actually like because for how many years uh 30 years i've wanted to be a store owner and now it's within grasp it's in reach um, it's not there yet. I just want it to open. I just want to be at the store all the time and just 
doing the store things. Um, obviously, there's lots of stuff I don't know about because I've never ran a store. Uh, 20 odd years ago, um, what was I? I was 25 years old, or I was 24 actually, and uh, I'd been graduated from university and all that stuff. And I was working at a Mike's Mart, which is a convenience store that they don't exist anymore, but it's like a Circle K. And uh, I was on the cusp of turning 25, and I was feeling bleh because I was being going to be a quarter century. And so I said to the boss, I said, uh, I'm, I'm making minimum wage, and I'm going to be 25, and uh, that feels wrong to me. Um, I don't care if you just give me a penny raise or whatever. And back then, what this was, was uh, 2001. And minimum wage was $6.85. And I said, I don't care if you just give me $6.86. And I'd only been there a few months. But I just I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, so she, I, she actually gave me $7 instead of $6.86. She gave me a 15 cent raise, which isn't a whole lot. But it was definitely appreciated because that meant I wasn't making a minimum wage at 25 years old. Because that just made me feel bad. And uh, all kinds of stuff like that. I even wrote a poem about it one time. Maybe I'll read that one day. Not now because I'm walking and poems are home. But uh, anyway, um, I was going to start uh, becoming uh, part of the management team because I was a hard worker and I enjoyed it. Uh, but then the, the store was sold, management changed, we were all let go, and I ended up working at Teletech. Uh, and then eventually I met Lynn, and we moved up here to Timmins, and life has never been the same. So anyway, uh, I've never been a manager, even though I was going to start. So I've never ran a store myself for my own business. So this is exciting. Uh, and now obviously there's a business in the building that I'm purchasing right now, and they're paying rent. Uh, their lease is up at the end of next March, so there's two options. Either they're going to re-up their lease or they're going to leave. If they leave, then I'm going to open the store. If she wants to stay, obviously I'm going to keep her there because that's uh, money coming in guaranteed instead of a store that may or may not make money. So Corey and I will get this website up and running and then we'll start selling online and then eventually when she does leave, I have the building. And then I can just open up the store, and it's going to be awesome. So there you go. That's what we have coming down the pipe. Down the pike, down the pipe. I never know which expression that is. But anyway, that's what's coming along. Uh, yeah, I'm excited, and I'm scared, and I'm nervous. And I just need the people to pay their rent, and everything will be fine. Uh, I've been scouring the marketplace on Facebook for whatever. I've come across uh, some Ninja Turtles. Um, I came across some VHS tapes uh, and some old PlayStation controllers. So for two bucks I got a bunch of VHS and PlayStation controllers. Uh, I don't know if it's worth anything, but one was a uh, VHS five box set Planet of the Apes movies. So I could sell that for ten bucks. I think Pearl Harbor was in there, and there was a bunch of older ones too that I can't remember what they are right now. Uh, so I'll sell them for two bucks, and I'll make my two bucks back, and it'll be great. So that's my plan, because I just need to have all kinds of random stuff in the store. In fact, my buddy Frank picked up uh, 30 VHS tapes uh, of original series Star Trek episodes. Uh, so that's 60 episodes, 30 tapes, because there's two episodes per tape, and I'll sell those for two bucks a piece. And he got those for free, because somebody was going to throw them out. So that's 60 bucks in profit. I just have to go down to the North Bay area and pick those up from him. So, yeah, that's fun. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm just looking forward to this chapter of my life actually commencing, and uh, it's pretty frightening because I'm not rich, I've never had a lot of money, and uh, yeah, this is uh, a big risk, but 
there's also a lot of potential reward. And if I can make this a success and retire early, that'll be even friggin' better. Because that's my goal. I don't want to be a post office worker for the rest of my life. Because this job kind of sucks and it's hard on the body. Hence why I'm going to the chiropractor later. Because my ankle's been sore for years. And the first chiropractor... Uh, I've been seeing him for a year, and there hasn't been too much improvement. Very little, but not much. Uh, and this other guy, this will be my third session, and uh, I'm already feeling better, actually. So that's kind of cool. And uh, what else? Is that it? Is that it, the end of the episode? I don't know. Um, it's very disjointed because it's windy. My train of thought is not on track you know just life and uh, I've been feeling very distracted lately because of everything I'm juggling with the finances and looking for toys and other things Um, did I tell you guys that I had a meeting with Bill and Claire and uh, they want to be part of the team and Bill sells antiques and Claire used to work at the post office and she's retired and uh, she was going to potentially work during the day without a wage so the store can be open during the day because I'm I'm obviously at work so I can't work it during the day and I can't afford to hire anybody right away so things are happening I'm building up quite a team I've got uh, well I've got me I've got uh, Bill and Claire I've got Corey Uh, I've got Frank looking for stuff for me and a few other random people. People are always uh, looking for things to make me go. We look for things. What were you looking for? Things we need. Can you be more specific? Things that make us go. We need help. And that's what we need. So uh, if you guys and girls out there in podcast land want to be part of the store, holy wind, holy crap. Um soulforgepodcast at gmail.com send me a message if you have old toys you want to sell me or donate to the cause that would be awesome uh, if you have a lead on toys that'd be great too uh, yeah I don't know what else it's getting uh, stupid windy on this section of the road so it might be time to end this episode uh, let me just get to this house here and put this stuff in the mailbox and I'll take my phone out of my pocket that I'm recording on I'll look up an Andre number and then we'll end the show and you'll hear this tomorrow or whenever you download it so let me just open this up here I'm going okay so what I was doing was uh, looking through my phone for an and remember quote and of course once I got out of the recording app it didn't uh, record what I just said so I'm just going to say it here Uh, thanks for coming by thanks for listening thanks for subscribing downloading and all that stuff and remember like Carl Sagan said we are like butterflies flapping our wings for a day and thinking it's forever thank you for listening to another episode of the Soul Forge podcast your support is greatly appreciated and we hope you'll tune in again next time Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links. And don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. Tell me that you saw it. Sorry, I could be so blind. It's too late to apologize. I'm sorry I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm Bill. I'm sorry that I hurt you. Apologies. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping for the Tee Public Store, which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.